everyone welcome back to another reading journal setup so we are doing july's i can't believe we're already past the halfway mark of the year so i'm i'm almost running out of space in this journal so i don't know if i'm gonna need a new one before the end of the year or if we, if we can squeeze by without <laughs> adding any more anyways but for this month uh since it's my birthday month and I'm going to be rereading The Princess Bride by William Goldman, which is my favorite fiction book. I'm going to be doing a reread with a, with a friend of mine. And so I thought we are going to be doing a Princess Bride inspired page. So let me see exactly where it's going to start. Okay, it is going to start here. I'll go ahead and stick with like this kind of, it's almost like a reddish brown. I think it's going to be really pretty to use. So I'm going to use that for some of the backgrounds. I think I'm gonna switch up a little bit, but right for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and do our title page and work from there. I always use a double-sided tape for pretty much everything. It's like my best friend, cause like I would rather use double-sided tape than like struggle with glue all the time. So definitely, definitely helps. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. My fingers are getting in the way this time, apparently. Okay, there we go. All right, so I like this kind of darkish background. I think it's going to be really pretty for some of our pages. So I'm just going to eyeball it, see where I want it. I think that's good. All right, so we have both of our pages ready. And I just went to pick collage it's like a collage app and you can look up like online images so i just found a bunch of really cute images that we can use in our planner because this is just just a fun idea for for my page for this month so i just wanted something really cute and simple and i like that it's princess bride inspired because it is my favorite book and one of my absolute favorite movies if you've never seen the movie you are missing out <laughs> i love that movie so 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 much it's one of my absolute favorites probably made my tape a little or my page a little crooked but that's okay i'll try to get at least the sticker fairly even there we go also trying to stick it down all right so we got that on as you wish and then I have my letter stamps, which I do love. Do I want to use the letter stamps? I think I will. I was going to use my like my monthly stamp, but I think I'm going to use these because that way I can put it like around the sticker instead. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the date. Should have put the J up higher, but that's okay. <laughs> we all make mistakes, and apparently I should have done that, but that's okay. All right, what else do we want to add to this? Like, I'm kind of like just kind of like in a creative mood, and like I just want to like like spread out the sunshine a little bit more. I don't know. I just felt like doing something a little bit more to this page. Yeah, the J kind of got in the way of that, but that's okay. There we go, just a little bit of extra, extra sunburst there. Kind of want to do, let's see, kind of want to do like the maybe as you wish, or maybe I'll do this one. Yeah, let's do that one. It says mostly dead is slightly alive. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'm going to add this on here. I might add washi tape first. Should I add washi tape first? Maybe I will do that. So I have some heart washi tape, and then I also have some of this. Um, a fun graphic style. I think that's brown. I like that dark brown. It's really nice. All right, so we'll use some of the dark brown, and I think we'll use the brownish color. I think it'll match really well. I've never used this washi tape before. I think I used it, like, once. So it's new to me, but I'm excited to use more of it because I keep seeing everybody use graphic paper washi tape, and it's so pretty. I love it. It's, like, just a simple 
little thing to like, but like, I don't know, it just, it's fun. It adds a little bit of like, kind of like a crafty feel to it a little bit. So I do like that a lot. And I don't need it to be perfect, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm actually covering up like some of the ripped edges, but that's okay. Sometimes nails are helpful, sometimes they're not. Also with graph line, like you, it's a lot easier to measure, like, or like if you want to layer, it's like, hey, put it here and then it goes really nicely. There we go. Let's put that there. Okay, now I'm going to add that sticker. I kind of wanted it like above the washi. I love sticker paper. I don't know what I did without sticker paper. <laughs> I don't know where I want to put it. Do I want to put it up higher? I mean, I think I want to put it up higher, actually. There we go. Okay, so I don't want to do too much on these pages, but I kind of like that. I think that's really cool. I might add some lines maybe to this. I'm probably ruining it. <laughs> you can't even see it because this gel pen like, acts like really crazy. Maybe I can do an outline here. Yeah, this gel pen's like, I thought I would like the Jelly Roll pens, but they're not that great. Oh well. Alright, what else do you want to do? I think I'll save the rest of the stickers for the following pages. All right, so let's see, what do we want to do now? Maybe we'll add some of the flowers because I did think about doing some florals. And I think it's like, I think some of the florals, especially like the fall colors or maybe like these like gold foil ones would be really pretty for this layout. Like the darker colored florals I think would be really pretty. Kind of just adding like a fun little element to it. It's almost like a fall movie, you know, like you look into it and you're like, I don't know, just when you watch it, it's like, it's like enjoying fall, I guess. And I went over the thing. <laughs> Can I take it off? Nope, I can't. Okay. It, we're leaving it there and we'll just cut off the top. Okay. Like it kind of matches the orange flower in there. Maybe I'll put it on this side. So we'll add two flowers in. I think that looks nice. Okay, so this side is going to be my birthday TBR, which I have no idea what it is yet because you all are going to be helping me with that and I have not picked any comments yet. That'll be on Sunday. So I will just put down the words birthday TBR. So that is our first page all done. There is going to be five options. Thankfully, there's not like a random number like my usual TBR game. But this is just a nice, relaxing, fun way to get everyone involved in my TBR. And I think it's a lot of fun. I might do this more often, actually, because I'm really enjoying doing this and having all of you involved. So this is the first page. Um, I do flip back just to see what I put because like I do like my layouts every month so like I like to see just like what I put each month so I can keep a little bit a little bit planned and organized that's the word organized my thoughts aren't organized but my planner is all right so our next page is for um our schedule for filming and our family family social media growth. So what do I want to do first? <laughs> I'm a little bit scatterbrained today. Let's see. I'm going to do like a flip through. So this was last month. Um, okay. Okay. So I do, I do, I do eight 
boxes for so I would have been confused if I didn't look at that okay so I know this is like a little bit of a different layout but um the butterflies kind of match the layout so at least for the boxes anyways so we're gonna kind of add a couple of butterflies throughout I think actually I might actually add some of the butterflies to the page before because there were some gold foiled ones and butterflies are really a really pretty choice and just to add some extra fun to it I think a few butterflies would be really nice so I'll add a few butterflies why not you know just use a whole bunch of different things so it's it's summery it's still fun it's got the princess bride inspired things so it's gonna be really pretty I think Let's see we'll put one over here I wish these were like 3d I probably should have gotten like 3d butterflies but that's okay I want one more butterfly on that page. I might use, end up using all these butterflies because they're so pretty. I'll put one over here. All right, and we'll put one, not, not a big one. <laughs> There's like a giant one on the page, but we're not going to put that one. Okay, so then I'll put one maybe at the top here. I think that's good. I don't want too many butterflies. I think one on that page is good. Okay, so now we can add butterflies to this page. <laughs> All right, so I keep this page pretty simple if you didn't see like the other ones um, for social media I just use some square boxes or whatever shape boxes just to kind of see my social media growth and I call it my social media family because you're all my book family so you know I hate when I don't like when people say like just social media growth I'm like you know all everybody matters and I call you all family so that's what we do. Okay, so I need at least four weekly boxes for my filming schedule. So I'll put a couple here. There's one. So I'll do a pink one. Two. And in case I do need more room to write, which I usually don't, you always have space in between each one. I usually don't, but in case I do, there's always that. All right, and then one more down here. I did only right here. And then one more. Do I want it down here or up here? I think I'll put it up here. All right, I think I'll put it right here. Actually, I probably should put it like way up here. <laughs> if we're trying to be really nitpicky, but I'm not nitpicky. I also need room to write, so it's always a good idea not to go too high up. Okay, so I got four boxes. They're not exactly straight, so, but just, just ignore the non-straightness. Okay, and then I apparently need eight. So if I need eight for my other page, I'm actually going to use, there's smaller boxes, which I do love in this sticker book. Sorry, I'm off camera. These ones. I think these are really fun, so I think I might use these for the social media growth. They're a lot smaller. And the normal boxes but you use what you have and I kind of like those we have these oh no either ones are really cute but we have more of the smaller ones so I think those will work better yeah let's just go ahead and use these I think these will be fun uh, quite a bit different but I think they're still cute all right so we need eight of these I'm just gonna move this page over okay so one Trying to make them as straight as I can. <laughs> I think I'm just going to use like the browns, blues, and pinks. That way they are similar to the other ones. Let's see, and then I'll do a pink one. Pink and... Well, it's maybe an orange one. So that's like one for every, or two for every week. That's what I usually do. And it works out that way. It works really nicely. One. 
And let's see, let's use another brownish colored one. There we go. These are actually kind of a fun size. You probably won't be able to see the numbers too well, but I think they're a really fun size. I just gotta figure out how I wanna decorate this. Okay, let's go ahead and use, this one's like a different pink. I kinda of like it, it's like a kind of a peach pink color. And we'll put this one over here, I guess, a little bit farther away. And then we'll do, let's see, let's, let's do a lighter blue. Got all the shades going on. Kind of a mixture, I guess, of butterflies, flowers, and Princess Bride. <laughs> As I always say, it's, it's your planner, so you do what you want to do. And I guess this is what I want to do, I guess. I think I'm going to actually handwrite it this time instead of doing stamping since it's a lot of stamping. So I think I'm just going to write it out this month. And I, I do that sometimes. I'm going to put them on these instead and then keep these for the reading. I might, I don't know. I kind of want to like put them on this page. It kind of go well because like with like, like the friends and stuff. Yeah, I might add them onto this page. Okay, so I put them on there and I think I'm going to put this one over here just like so it add a little fun sticker. It says, death cannot stop true love. <laughs> there are some fun like, like. If you've seen the movie, like, I know pretty much almost every single line in that movie. There's a lot of movies, though, that I can do that with, and TV shows. My mom's like, how can you do that? I'm like, it's like songs in my head. Like, a lot of people have, like, so many songs in their head. I have both that and a lot of movies in my head <laughs> and TV shows. I don't know. It just sticks in my mind. All right, so I, that's a fun little page there. I'm actually going to go ahead and add, should I add some florals to this page? Okay, well, I tried drawing boxes around my drawings, and I, uh, I didn't do the greatest job. It's definitely, like, this box is bigger than that box, but let's just move on. Okay, so let's see what else. What else did I want to add? I know I wanted to add something, maybe some more butterflies, or maybe we do need, like, a small flower. Like, not a big one, but maybe we need something as small. Ooh, or, like, one of these are pretty. Like a border flower, but those are see-through. <laughs> Let's see. Do you have any more like those really pretty orange colored flowers? Oh yeah, there's one. Let's use let's use the orange flower right here. Just like something small. And I just wanted something on this side. There we go. Yeah, I think I needed something over there. Okay, so we added a flower and then I'm gonna add a few more of those um, really pretty butterflies that you can't see because they're off camera. These ones. <laughs> All right, so I'll add a couple of these. Quite possibly need some kind of in the center here. I definitely like the theme this month. I definitely wanted to have like some kind of like themed months where like I do, I do like some of my favorite movies or favorite cartoon or something. I think, it, I think it's a lot of fun. All right, let's see, let's add some more butterflies to the other page. Maybe I'll add one over here. One there, and I need one more, I think. Come off the page. <laughs> Some of these clear stickers have a really hard time coming off the page. There we go. I think we we'll need one up here. I don't know why I wanted to do butterflies. Maybe I wanted to make it just a little bit more feminine. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. All right, on to our last page, which is our last one and this is for our reading wrap up i actually didn't have to tape any pages this month i normally put like a ton of stamping and i tried not to so it did help all right let's see a monthly wrap up there we go so for this one i think i'm gonna do the silhouettes of them like on either side. Maybe we'll do her on this side and him on this side. Maybe we'll do like in the center maybe. Oh, I like the center actually. That's nice. Or like they're next to each other rather than like extremely far apart from each other. 
So I think I will put them in the center. I kind of like that. All right. There we go. Let them turn in so I can get it kind of centered. Or close to center as I can. There we go. So there's Wesley and Buttercup. So yeah, so if you've never seen the movie or read the book, you know, you might not know who these characters are, but you have uh, it's one of my absolute favorites. Okay, let's try to squeeze them in. I know my reading journals take like the longest to set up, but I do fast forward through some parts for you all. Otherwise, this video would be like, well, this one's not too long. This one's like 40 minutes, maybe. Maybe a little less than that. All right. So, yeah, I like them next to each other. I think that's really cute. All right. So, monthly wrap up. There we go. Yeah, I like that better. Is that crooked? Possibly. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> it doesn't have to be exact. I have to keep telling myself sometimes, like, it doesn't have to be perfect. It never has to be. It never will be. Okay. <laughs> so, at least I find it a lot easier, especially when you journal a lot, that perfection really doesn't matter to me anymore. So... So that's my end of the month wrap up. I don't think I'll add any more things to this page. Oh, or butterflies. I want to add butterflies or flowers. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this purple flower. It's really pretty. There we go. Maybe I'll just, cause I was thinking about doing one in the center, but I don't want to put too much there. So I think I'll put one here. I want to do it this way. I don't want to cover up the line that I just drew, but I think a nice flower right there I think would look really nice. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I want to add any more. Maybe I'll add just one more little flower on the other side just to kind of give it a little bit of balance. There we go. Yeah, that looks okay. Not perfect. I mean, I could have gotten a little bit more fancier with this layout, but I just kind of wanted it. I like, I like doing simple. Um, you know, I like going all out and doing like all crazy things like I do in Bible journaling, but my reading journal is just that, it's just for reading and I don't want to get elaborate with it and take like five hours to do it. So it just, it helps me to relax and, and I get something fun to do in my reading journal rather than just like a plain reading journal because growing up, I wanted a reading journal like so badly because I read and I wanted to keep track, but I hated, I hated, um, the, the reading journals that had the reviews because I don't like writing reviews like in hand. I'm fine online. I'm fine talking about books, but I really just hate, um, just writing out reviews in a journal and that's all they had growing up. I never thought to make my own until like, like last year or the year before, I was like, okay, people actually do this and it looks awesome. I want to do it. So that's what I did. I just created my own and and I love it. I love being able to create whatever I want and whatever works for me. And if it's just doing like a monthly wrap up, you know, for, for anybody, then just do a monthly wrap up and add pictures of all the books that you want. All right. So that is my July reading journal setup. So let's go ahead and flip back to the beginning and see what we have. So there is our front page. Probably could have done without the brown background, but that's okay. It still looks nice. That is our second one. Kind of goes along with the butterfly theme that we had a couple months ago, but that's okay. And then our reading wrap up. So that turned out really cute. I might actually add a black border background to this one as well. You know what? Let's go ahead. Since we're here, Okay, yeah, I'm not great at drawing boxes. As you can see, I made a boo-boo up here. <laughs> uh, but I can use white out or even the white gel pen actually probably would work, maybe? I'd love to find out if it does. So let's see. That could actually work for my mistake over here as well. Like, maybe? Well, it does a little bit actually. Huh, okay. Never knew that. <laughs> like, I always thought you needed a white out, but 
it actually works quite well if you make a, just a little mistake. Yeah, look at that. We fixed it. Wow, okay, so white gel pen apparently acts like a whiteout, so good to know. Good to know. Okay, so yay. Okay, so that turned out to be a fun little layout. I'm actually kind of glad I added the boxes, even though I kind of made a little mistake here and there, but you know what? That can't be helped. It's just, it's just a journal. That's all it is. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video.